Hello! In this video, we will be discussing a research project that was conducted in Finland 2018 by Evi Hakala, Helmi Häkkinen, Jasmin Sjöholm, and Jerin Vallar. This research on factors affecting demand was conducted by gathering answers through Google Forms. The questionnaire was up for four days and 247 people answered. In this conclusion, we will assume that every answer was from a different person, and that everyone answered truthfully. Of the people who answered, 69.6% are women, 59.5% are 15 to 19 year olds, and 69.2% of people speak Swedish as their first language. From these numbers and the fact that the questionnaire was shared within Vasa Övningsskola, an upper secondary school, or a high school, we will assume that most of the people who answered are students of this school. We gathered quite a lot of data and asked age, gender, and preferred language. But unfortunately, we did not ask about economic background or income. And so, hope you enjoy! The factors affecting demand are many and include, for example, income of consumer, competition, taste and preferences, price and fashion, price of related goods or substitutes, price change, trends, and what is popular, like Yeezys, Nikes, and Starbucks. This survey was focused on fashion, price, taste and preferences, price of related goods or substitutes. Does advertising affect consumer behavior? Well, unfortunately for this part of our questionnaire, most of the answers were inconclusive to most of the questions, that is. People did not answer very clearly yes or no, but often in between somewhere. Now, this could also be a sign that advertising isn't something that people think consciously about and therefore don't know very clearly how it affects them. The only question that got a clear answer was if a good ad is important for a good product, and people seem to agree that to some extent it is important. 40.1% of the people who answered the question, would you rather buy a colorful candy bag or a plain one, answered they would rather buy a colorful one than a plain one. This shows us that packaging affects the purchasing decision. The results reflect on our hypothesis on the subject. We assumed that nice, colorful packaging would result in better sales than plain or boring ones. According to Lane, colors used in packaging attract a lot of attention, but different colors should be used while considering the context. The packaging for products aimed at children is often full of bright colors, while products aimed at adults use often more toned tone colors. Most of the people who answered our questionnaire were 15 to 19 years old, which could lead one to the conclusion that in this age group, Lane's ideas about the effect of colors with the research data we have gathered. From the data we've collected, 61.9% of people seem to prefer glass bottles over plastic ones. Even though the data says this, Coca-Cola's main way of packaging is plastic. One could wonder why that is, if the glass bottles are more popular. The answer could then be boiled down to even though people like glass bottles more, they still would buy a plastic bottle. But what are the reasoning behind this then? In the 1970s US, they switched from aluminium and steel cans to plastic bottles, for environmental reasons. But then they switched to plastic, because people crave convenience and it would also cut down on Coca-Cola spendings. This decision is not environmentally friendly, and is something Coca-Cola should have thought a little bit longer about. Even though plastic is recyclable, it's not recyclable like returnable glass bottles were. What would then be taken away from this? Humans crave convenience, and this is clearly shown through price elasticity. Humans buy the cheaper and more convenient product, even if you think that there is a better product for a small difference in price. The average of these numbers results in 3.96, which is close to the middle, but still on the far right side. This could be seen upon as though if quality is more important than design, even though they are closely related. There is no clear line to be drawn between them, since they could be the same. In this question, design is defined as the outer appearance, while quality is productivity or effectiveness in completing the task it is supposed to complete. 
People seem to think that the quality is more important than the design, although this is also very dependent on the specific scenario or product. For example, a pug has many health issues, thanks to humans wanting them to look a specific way, which leads to artificial selection. Though they are known as very nice and friendly dogs, there is no denying that pugs are a troubled breed because of human's want for the outer appearance or something to be visually appealing or the way humans want it. By looking at the data collected, one could conclude that brands do play a big role in consumption and demand. A lesser known brand, or a generic one, will lead to people being less interested in the product. If a brand needs to be defined as something, one definition could be the relationship between company and consumer. A brand can affect one's purchasing decision in many ways, either through what one has heard about a certain brand, which means that brands should be trustworthy and not involved in any negative publicity, or what the brand is known for. Trustworthiness is one of the most important parts of a brand. With that, the consumer can know that the product is exactly as promised, and because of that, they are likely to buy from the brand again. This helps in developing the brand-consumer relationship. Brand sets a product apart from all other similar products. Also, brand loyalty is something to be considered, since some people wish to support certain companies and certain brands, which affects the consumer purchasing decision. We were wondering if moral and ethical thinking would affect on the customer's choices, and it seems like women most likely cares about those factors. Out of the 160 people who would buy cruelty-free shampoo, 76% were women and 21% were men. The remaining 3% were either not willing to say or another gender. From looking at these numbers, our research team has concluded that people say morality affects their purchasing decision, yet one of the most popular brand is Tresemme, and they do test on animals, and is not cruelty-free. This shows that price sensitivity is something to be considered when looking at these numbers. People showed a lot of price sensitivity in the cruelty-free products, but most people didn't think about this in the question about local food. Most people would rather buy local food than food from abroad. A thing that might affect this is the fact that we are talking about food. We want to know what we eat and if it's healthy. Local food is easy to drag down and doesn't usually require as much chemicals as food from abroad. This might be one of the reasons why most people care about whether the food is local or not. Still, most people would be ready to download music illegally if they knew they wouldn't get caught. The result we got from the questions would say that when buying products, price matters more than personal values, except if the consumer is directly affected by the product. This survey mainly proved our previous ideas about factors affecting demands further. This questionnaire supported our main hypothesis that all the factors that were mentioned previously in this video, affect demand to a certain extent, at least. For future predictions, one could conclude that it might be worth spending money on making a good ad, to have a nice proper packaging, to make the product convenient, and to build a brand that's trustworthy, that consumers want to trust and support. It might also be worth considering the fact that people want a good product rather than one that is very pretty so valuing quality. Consider also making your product on fair grounds and building a good moral base to your company. One should also remember that many people are really price sensitive, so for a product to sell, in addition to making the product morally good, the price should be low enough. Conclusion all in all, this survey was very effective and informative. It showed that even though people say certain things about their purchasing decision, they may not stick strictly to that. By comparing and contrasting facts from secondary sources, this survey's answers also proved that our hypothesis on the subjects were correct, and what we assume to be factors affecting demand do affect demand. 
Thanks for watching! So, if you want to have a closer look at any of the articles mentioned in this video, you can find them all in the description box below. So again, thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe!